Back on Earth. May 2013, El Reno, Oklahoma. Storm chasers like Brandon Sullivan and Brett Wright are on the trail of a storm system that's already produced more than a dozen tornadoes. It was a day that we knew once storms got going, they would just explode. And that's exactly what happens. A violent thunderstorm produces a massive EF3 tornado. But then, without warning, the tornado unexpectedly changes direction and is now heading straight for them. Because it shifted direction so rapidly, because it changed its speed so quickly, it caught a lot of people off guard. But even when Brandon and Brett head in a different direction, things go from bad to worse as the tornado forms multiple vortices. not a good place to be. That means that you have winds that are shooting out the back of this thing. That's where the crazy winds happen. As Brandon and Brett drive south to escape the winds, the twister rips through a region of rural farmland. This is really now the benchmark of all tornadoes, and as terrifying as it gets, it ends up being the largest tornado in American history, more than two and a half miles wide, which is unheard of. Ultimately, Brandon and Brett managed to outrun the tornado and incredibly escape without a scratch. They're so lucky they got out okay. It's amazing. All right, what a channel. Meanwhile, meteorologist Mike Bettis is fighting his own battle with the storm, and it's a much closer call. We have to go now in order to stay ahead of this and not get run over by But he doesn't make it out in time. The tornado's winds throw Mike's car 200 yards into the air, with him and his team in it. You lift it into the air, and then you come crashing down, and the force is so violent, and your vehicle is tumbling over and over, and it's just crumbling all around you. It's something that no one should ever have to go through. Fortunately, Mike and his crew make it out alive, though his driver requires surgery for multiple broken bones. Sadly, three other storm chasers die on the job. It was the first known instance of storm chasers dying in a line of work. Anyone that storm chases knows there's an inherent danger. Maybe that's the draw, but I think the more and more people that are out there, the more and more people that are in danger. 